everybody, it's me, Stella Wild, and I am back with your December 2018 Intuitive Tarot Video Scopes. Hey, better late than never, right? That's what my mom always used to say. Um, this Mercury retrograde, it's still retrograde till the 6th of December. This metro retrograde has felt like it's been going on and on and on and on. I, anyway delays, disruptions, you know, best laid plans and all of that, but it's all right. It's almost over and here we are. I do apologize though for these being a little late, but all right. So let's talk about how I'm going to do the reading. You know, I do the readings different every month because I just, I kind of tune in. I listen to how my spirit guides want me to do them. And this month they're telling me that I need to do several things for y'all. So this is how it's going to go down. I'm going to be doing um, one card from this deck for your general energy. I will clarify as I need to. Then we're going to get into a mini love reading. And then we're going to get into asking about your finances. And then finally, we're going to end with an Angel Answers card. Okay, so that's how they're telling me I have to do the reading this month. <laughs> so um, I am running a special because I missed like Black Friday. I missed Cyber Monday. Just too many things going on. So I am running a reading special for December until the solstice, which is December 21st. So if you're interested in booking a reading with me, please go to my website. I will put the link in the description. Also, one more thing. I have, um, I'm starting to take the uh, Jupiter in Sagittarius luck and opportunity forecast, and I'm breaking them out into individual signs. So if you just want to get one, the price is cheaper, and those are also on my website. I will leave the link in the description. Um, yeah, so the other thing, just thank you to everybody. We are growing this channel. We are growing this community. I'm very excited about all of your comments and your shares and your likes. This is this is really fantastic, and I'm, I'm so happy that the messages are resonating with everybody. To that end, the order in which I am going to be doing the readings is based on, or not doing the readings, but the way I'm going to be releasing them to you. Um, is based on how many people watch the videos. So Virgos, you're the first this month. And then I'll go through the rest of the signs. So if you want me to do your sign first, because I was always doing them like I was starting with Aries and then going through. And then I thought, well, is that really fair? You know, there's what if one group is really just so into it? Shouldn't I reward them the next month? So that's how we're going to start doing it. So please like the videos, share, you know, the more that watch your sign, the quicker I get to them the next month. All right, so let's get into it. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your December 2018 reading. I know I'm a little late. I'm filming this on December 14th. Yes, it's two weeks late, but consistency, even if it's late, is better than inconsistency. So... Okay, um, we're gonna pull a general card for you and see what your energies are for the last two weeks of December since I'm so late <laughs> with, this, with this reading for you. All right, I promise that the January ones will be up much sooner. All right, let's see. Your general energies, my Scorpios. Okay, so you got the Emperor card, you got lead. So there's some sort of situation in which you're going to be taking a determining role, like what you say is going to be going, <laughs> what you say is going to be happening. So, and this is also, this card is very interesting. I think Aries got this as well. I don't remember exactly because it's, you know, I've been doing these readings over the course. Usually I do them one after another, but because of my crazy schedule, I've been doing them kind of in between and then I don't remember who got what. But anyway, <laughs> This, this card is very interesting, Scorpio, because I'm trying to get the glare out of there. It's like you were hiding in the shadows almost, but this figure is like in the background. And now you are stepping forth into your true power in whatever, whatever area of life this fits for you. Because remember, this is a general reading. 
And there's some sort of knowledge that an experience with this scroll here, but particularly practical knowledge that you are going to be bringing to this situation that they they need your leadership in this, whatever the situation is. Okay, so now let's see. I'm going to pull um, a couple of these regular cards and let's get some clarification on the Scorpio leadership role for the last two weeks of December, what that will entail. Okay, so let's see. All right. Okay, so there's some sort of situation in which you're going to be contacted probably by a wa another water sign woman about fulfilling um, a wish of yours. I got to pull a few more to clarify that, but um, a water sign woman, Queen of Hearts, is bringing you calling the king of spades is bringing you some sort of information this could also be an air sign actually wait i back it up the air well it could go either way it's a general reading the air sign man so the Ge gemini uh libra aquarius man could be bringing you because you could be the water sign woman since this is a scorpio reading some important information about a wish fulfilled okay um this could be a, some sort of promotion because remember with this lead card so some but even if it's not a promotion like at work it is some sort of news a wish fulfillment that makes you feel you're finally in charge of your destiny again in some aspect of your life okay so let's see if we can get any more information information on that okay let's see what else do we need to know about this card okay so it's possible that that it involves a family situation since this is the family this is the relatives card this is success and this is a lucky break so um it could be that you are uh you could be getting pregnant this month you just find out you're pregnant um and as a result you know you're going to be taking a greater uh role in the family as a mom as a dad right um so so this is very interesting and we have two nines here this this is something very personal to you whatever this wish is that's coming true and it, you know it's hard to say in a general reading but whatever this wish is that's coming true involves some sort of benefit because success card benefit to your family situation um, and it's going to be a lucky break, so to speak, a lucky thing that occurs. It's going to increase your family's um, probably uh, joy and ease because of these two nine cards. And it's something that probably you've been wanting to manifest for a while since we have these two nines here. Um, so this, this is very interesting energy. And it's going to make you feel, as I said before, much more, you're going to have to step up. You're going to have to step up, Scorpio, um, because with this wish coming true, it's going to bring a, bring a responsibility, but it's a happy responsibility. Okay. All right. That's very interesting. I love that energy for you. All right. We're going to come back and do your love reading. I have to pause the tape every few moments because my computer melts down. So I will be right back. Okay, Scorpio, so let's take a look at your love life for the last two weeks of December. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Oof. All right, so this is some interesting energy for your love life. We have the Five of Swords, we have the Two of Swords upside down in the middle, and we have the Six of Cups upside down. So... When I do pull three cards, I always look at the middle as the sort of, as I call it, the energetic linchpin. So with the two of swords upside down, Scorpio, you've made a decision. <laughs> and you made a decision to cut loose this association of long standing. And this may not be exactly a love relationship. It could just be a very strong friendship in which, uh, you know, strong friendships can sometimes be even more um, intense than love relationships. You know, a, a, you know, 
an intimate sexual relationship, sometimes friendships, without that intimacy part, the physical intimacy can be can be even more intense. And that's what I'm kind of feeling here, that there's some sort of situation where this person, and it's somebody you've known for a while, it's the Six of Cups upside down, So, and they felt like a soulmate to you, right? Because the Six of Cups is like, you know them from childhood, or they have, if you don't know them from childhood, you know them from a karmic connection, like the, the connection is deep. And it's one of those connections that Six of Cups where when it's upright, the Six of Cups upright, is that just you get each other. Like, you don't have to say anything and you get each other. You can just hang out and eat pizza and watch a football game and not say anything and you get each other. You just, like, scream when the your team, like, makes a goal, you know? Like, but it's, so it's, like, that kind of ease, but also that kind of intensity is also there. But a lot of it sometimes is unspoken. So it's very interesting energy, very, very interesting energy. But it's upside down. And notice in this deck, Romantic Victorian, um, Romantic Tarot, there's only two. There's two. And notice how one is looking away and one is looking off in the distance. Um, but they're still touching. They're still touching. But this card's upside down for you, Scorpio. So something went wrong. Something went wrong with this intense friendship. For some of you, again, it's a general reading. For some of you, this could be a love relationship that felt more like a very intense platonic friendship. Maybe the intimacy, the physical intimacy was not as emphasized. But look what happened. And the reason I say that is also because of this card. We have the Five of Swords. There's three people in this card. And somebody is crying. Is it you? Somebody, look, the little person over here <laughs> is crying. There's so much glare. Jesus. Okay, so the little person's crying. And look, two are now together. Two are together and somebody's crying. Third party. Five of swords in this deck, to me, can be third party situation. You made the decision. Now, this can go either way, because again, it's a general reading. You made the decision to let go of this person who was in a third, who, and you were in the third party. Or you found somebody else, Scorpio, and you made the decision you had to finally let go of this person. I mean, it's possible that you were trying to, Scorpio, kind of have both still in your life. This person and this new person that came in. But you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. It's possible this person found out and that caused a problem. Or, you know, you were the innocent party and you found out that this best friend of yours decided to cut you out by introducing a third party. So, like I said, it could go, it could go either way. But regardless, you made the decision. You were proactive in finally getting this situation rectified. Let's let's pull a few more cards. And and that ties in with this lead role that we had here as well. Cuz two of swords upside down is you make the decision. When it's upright, you're just like, I don't know what to do, right? Upside down, you made the decision. But it's interesting. And look at the colors in both of these cards are very much aligned and these are different decks by different people, <laughs> different artists, but the energies are the same. So with all this blue also in both of these cards, I think there's this issue of the throat chakra, that there needs to be something really expressed. Um, and you finally expressed it. You took the leadership role in finally stating your truth about whatever this situation, whoops, this situation was for you. Um, and it's probably because something got exposed. Something came to an, a head where there was an actual, probably, fight, a revelation with this Five of Swords. Okay, so, but it's what's interesting, too, to me about this card is the person still protecting their heart chakra. So something about this situation is still not 100% resolved. Um, but I think there was a revelation that forced... A decision. All right, let's see what else. Let's see what else do we need to know about this? What else 
do we need to know about this six of cups upside down situation? All right, let me see. Okay, so now look at this. <laughs> I asked about that situation, that six of cups situation. The timing is right, the wheel of fortune, to be just. To not be unfair to people. To do the right thing. So that you don't have disharmony in your environment. Four of Wands. Upright. So you want to have a peaceful environment. Um, the Four of Wands is a beautiful card. But remember, we look at the, the middle. I feel like now that you have made the decision, this, this Wheel of Fortune, you the timing you know coincides with... Um, doing the right thing. You did the right thing by making the decision. And now look, all the cards are upright. And um, it was the right thing to do, this justice card. And look at all the blue in that, again, that, that card. I just want, I just love when these things align like this, right? Look at this energy for you with this, with this situation in your love life, Scorpio. Taking the lead to make the decision that is the right thing to do. So morally doing the right thing. Now everybody has different definitions of what that is, okay, and I'm not here to judge. Um, so, you know, but it's upright. So, and with this uh, four of wands as well, um, the end result will be more harmony in your environment as well for making this decision. So these, this is a beautiful outcome from whatever might have been troubling you as we're coming into this middle part of December, Scorpio. If you had to make this decision already, which I'm suspecting you probably did, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really for the best. And these cards affirm that. And you will see, this Wheel of Fortune is a beautiful card because you will see that it's really about the universe making the timing happen now so that something else can come in right because when there's a vacuum when something gets let go of something else then can fill that space so if there has been an unfortunate relationship situation now another one can come in that you because you made the decision you made the decision to you know do the right thing and let that go or the other person you know, like if, if you found somebody else, but the third party was still hanging around, you gently, you know, you let them go with love, so which is the right thing to do, so that they can be happy and find somebody else. So it's only fair, right? So that's like the kind of energy. But I think this is great. Um, it's very, very, very positive. And um, it is, like I said, it's about really taking the lead on that on that situation. All right, we will come back with your money. All right, Scorpio. So let's now take a look at your money. I am using my regular, regular rider weight. Mm, you're not spending too much money this month, right? You're hanging on to it. You're being frugal, which is a good thing. All right. All right, let's see, Scorpio, about your money life. The last two weeks of December. You might have been frugal up to this point. Let's see what's happening now in the last two weeks. Okay. All right, let's see. Hmm, interesting energy. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands upside down. So remember, this is the question about money now. We have King of Cups, which could represent your, <clears throat> excuse me, your water energy. But we have King of Wands in the middle and upside down, and we have Nine of Cups upside down. So I'm going to have to pull a couple more, but it is possible that you are not able to be as generous with your money as you would like right now, Scorpio. That is a possibility. Um, you know, you want to be very generous. You are generous. You want to be loving and generous. You're coming up here upright, your energy. You're, this is like, um, you know, the good father who just 
breaks his back for his kids and will go without as long as they have everything. Um, even things that he may, th well, he doesn't usually, this guy's very sensitive. He usually doesn't think anything is too silly that his kids want. Um, but, but he will do anything. He's the give your, give the shirt off your back type person, this King of Cups upright. Um, but look what's in the middle, this King of Wands upside down. Um, there could have been some, um, financial impulsivity, could have been some excessive spending going on. There could have been something that you did not want to spend your money on, but you had to, Scorpio. And as, because with this Nine of Cups upside down, and as a result, um, there could be a shortfall and you cannot be as generous as you would like to be this month, the last two weeks in December, you know, buying holiday gifts and things like that, treating people, you know. So there's this um, sense of that you feel this way in your heart, but the reality of what you can actually do is you can't be impulsive because there probably was some sort of expense within the last nine days, so maybe at the very beginning of the month, or it could be in the last nine weeks, which would take us back to end of October at that full moon we had, some sort of expense, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, or you foolishly, I mean, this is this King of Wands energy upside down, nine weeks ago, made a purchase, made a financial commitment that now you realize that it's strapping you at Christmas time, at holiday time, and you can't, you don't have access as, to as much money as, as you thought. So that's a possibility. Remember, general reading. All right, let's see what else Scorpio needs to know about their money and turning around this money situation. What's the outcome of this money situation? Ooh, these cards are not cooperating. Okay, let's see. Look, that card came up again. That Four of Pentacles. Look at this. All right, so I asked what's going to be the outcome of that money situation. So you are. You're holding on to your money because there's probably not as much of it as you would like to hold on to. Um, but we have situations that are in flux. We have the Page of Swords upright and we have the King of Swords upright. There's some information that is going to be coming to you about a communication project, a writing project, uh, a research project, something along those lines. Um, and it's going to come in very fast because swords are about communication. It's about thought. Um, it's a lot about mindset as well. So if you're not a writer or you're not in research or something like that, this could just be a message that changes your mindset very swiftly. This could be honestly like you decide, you know what, I'm going to get on this minimalism kick. Like I am ready to be a minimalist because I need to conserve my money. I have been, you know, maybe spending foolishly in the past and I need to get myself together. So, and, and because of what you're seeing at the holiday time, it could be that, um, and because you're kind of feeling like you can't, like I said, be as generous as you want, you're like, you know what? I have to do more with the money I do have. I have to hold on to it. I need to invest it. Do I really need to buy all this stuff? So there, there could be a very interesting shift, Scorpio, that comes for you this month in regards to the last two weeks of... Um, December in regards to your finances and how you want to handle them going forward into 2019. Um, so there's this, like I said, there's a swiftness, but this is the energy you're working with in the middle. But this energy, Four of Pentacles, is directly opposite this. This is spend, spend, charge up the credit card, spend, spend, and emotional impulsivity. So like just, just shop till you drop and who cares about, don't think about the bill, don't think about the credit card balance, don't, you know. This is, uh, yeah, we're going to have rice and beans for dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not having cable anymore. <laughs> you know, like, it's like that type of mentality. Let's, let's uh, reuse the, um, the plastic baggies, like, we're going to wash them out and reuse them. Like, 
and again, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just trying to give an example of like the extreme difference between the Four of Pentacles energy and this. They are diametrically opposed. So, so this is very interesting, but I feel like this change will come very swiftly for you. There's going to be some sort of, um, like I said, I think tied in with this Nine of Cups upside down that you're unable to be as, you know, generous. It's, it's, yeah, it's possible to that um, a bonus you expected at work is not going to come through and you hear about it, you know, because end of the year time, some companies give out bonuses and money you thought that you were going to have, which is why you were spending, doesn't come and you are forced to really tighten your belt and give some serious consideration to shifting your mindset in regards to what is really important for you to be spending your money on. Okay. All right. We will be back with your angel oracle card. Okay, Scorpio. So I've been drawing two cards for each sign and um, you can think of a question and, you know, you can see what the answer is going to be. Um, we'll also look at these two cards in relation to the cards that we just pulled out for you as well. All right, so let's see what we have here. Usually, whoa, whoa, I, look at this. You see, when they pop out, I know it's hard to see when I shuffle some, sometimes, but when they pop out like that, that's how I know that's the card to take. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. We need one more. Because the one under it really didn't pop out. It was just that top, that top one. All right, what else do my Scorpios need to know? a little. All right, let's see. Come on. All right, this one's kind of moving around. All right, let's see what we have here. So our first one was trust. So trust, I, I really feel this is in relation to your finances. Trust that all is provided to you. Change the mentality from one of, um, you know, concentrating on what you don't have and instead concentrate on what you do have and trust that your finances, if you're going through something, when you change the energy, when you shift it, um, you know, you can create more abundance for yourself and let go. So this is very interesting because I feel like it's also tuned into trust and let go with this card because you're letting go of some sort of past idea of yourself that that maybe you didn't have enough confidence to step forward in this area of your life um and so you're letting go of old definitions of yourself i mean scorpio is about a lot of ener scorpionic energy is about that phoenix rising from the ashes right this the snake shedding its skin and uh resurrecting and this is in a way a resurrection you are leaving behind an old definition let go and trust that you can step into this new sense of self right this new definition of who who you are and who are you you are becoming in taking this leadership role in your life i feel like a lot of it well actually this card is applicable to both situations the romance and the money like you need to to do the right thing i'm thinking of, that's what i'm going to name your video do the right thing um in terms of your love and your money this month so there's decisions you need to make as to okay i gotta create better harmony in my in my love life with this situation if that applies to you that situation um you know i have to i have to let go i have to do the right thing um i can't like it's not fair to me to be in a third party because I'm not getting the all the attention I deserve. It's not fair for me to hang on to somebody if I'm already with somebody else because then they can't, you know, that's that's selfish, right? So there's that energy. Then there's the energy of um, letting go of perhaps spending money on things that aren't really serving you, um, you know, impulsive shopping perhaps, you know, stuff like that. Um, and stepping into the mindset of trusting that you can create more abundance for yourself as well. Doing the right thing by yourself by managing your money uh, more effectively. So we have trust and let go. 
All right. Thank you, Scorpio. Again, I apologize for it being so late in the month, but I hope that you're having a great December and that um, if you're going through any of these situations that they turn around for you very soon. And there is definitely, like we looked at the beginning, there is going to be some sort of lucky situation, lucky break that we were looking at, particularly in regards to, to a wish that you have been wanting to manifest for a while. I feel like that's more related to job. Um, to your job though. Okay. All right, Scorpio, take care and I will see you again soon.